everyone, I am Ms. Mariel and I'd like to welcome you here in Art With You. Do you want to create paintings just like these? Today, you will become familiar with basic painting processes and gain the confidence to create your own art masterpiece. Are you ready? Let's begin! For this art video tutorial, I will teach you how to paint a bird on canvas. For this activity, we need canvas panel, paint. For the paint, we need the three basic colors which are blue, red, and yellow, and the neutral colors, black and white. Paint brushes, and water. We have three basic parts in painting. The background, middle ground, and foreground. Let's start with the background. The background is the part that is farthest to the viewer. They are much smaller in size, duller in color, and contain less detail than objects that are close to the viewer. On the right side of your canvas, mix blue, black, and white paint. On the left side, mix red, blue, yellow, white, and black paint. You can experiment the mixture until you get the right shade that you want. Splatter small amount of white paint onto the canvas. Try this technique. Let it dry for a few minutes. Next is the middle ground. The middle ground is a space naturally occurring between the background and the foreground. Mix red, blue, yellow, and white to make brown. Use it to create a branch. Mix yellow and blue to make green. Use it for the leaves. Add another branch and leaves on the right side of your canvas below the first branch. You can add white paint on green paint to make the leaves lighter. Lastly, the foreground. The foreground refers to the objects that can be found near the viewer. Because this part of the scene is closest to the viewer, the objects appear to be larger. Draw the base of the bird using white paint. Let it dry for a few minutes. Draw the feathers by mixing yellow and red at the bottom and blue and white at the top. Use black paint for the bird's beak. Paint the bird's eye using white as a base and black for the iris. Add some details for the feathers.
draw the bird's foot using brown. Lastly, add some pink flowers. On the fifth day, God created birds. Not only did He create these creatures, He made them with the ability to reproduce. God did not just create one or two kinds of birds. God demonstrates His infinite creativity in the creatures of the birds. All sorts of birds now filled the skies. The birds had beautiful places to fly and wonderful trees in which they could build their nests and perch. There were plenty of plants with all sorts of seeds and fruits that the birds could eat. When God entrusted His creation to humanity, it was a great gift from loving Father. This world He gave us to live in and enjoy is extraordinarily beautiful, marvelously balanced, and incredibly diverse. And He deserves our appreciation. In fact, the Bible says that we and all of creation are to praise Him. Did you enjoy our art masterpiece today? That's awesome! For more art video tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell button to get notified. Follow me on my Facebook page as well. See you again next time only here at Art With You!